Hello! Today I have a very special video. My mom is gonna recommend books to you because I'm not really a thriller kind of person, but my mom is CEO of reading thrillers and mysteries, so I'll be right back with my mom. I do not see the camp there. This is my mom. Hi. <laughs> We're both very awkward. Yes. Takes one to know one. Mm. Mm. My mom only reads mystery thriller books, so she's here to recommend you Swedish books. Yes. Do you remember that time we went in a bookstore before Christmas and was shopping for myself and you? So we all scattered and I had a big basket and I stocked up. Uh, I think 20 something and I could only bring with us back to, to Portugal 16 books and I was piling them up and one guy approached me and said hi oh, excuse me where do you have he thought I was working there so and the problem is I only like thrillers police how do you say police what mystery thrillers. mystery books and they all kind of start in the same way uh, corpse is found and I, I forget so sometimes I actually buy the same book twice and I give it away. Olivia asked me to say my favorite authors. One is this uh, Danish, you see Adler Olsen, they're very nice. Uh, this is one of my favorite books ever, all times. Uh, what do you call that in English? A Cage of Gold? Yeah. Or Revenge, I think it's called Revenge actually in English. I'll put the real name on top. Yeah, this is the real name. It's, it's a Swedish in English. English. Future me here. So since my mom is just like me because I'm her child, she doesn't remember anything about books. So I'm going to talk about the books she talks about br briefly. I'm going to tell you what they're about because I don't think they're known on booktube. So yeah. The Golden Cage is part of a series, which is called Faye's Revenge, basically. It is about a woman called Faye, and she marries a man named Jack when they were young. And into the future, they have made their own business, and Faye finds out, basically, that Jack has cheated on her, and it's her revenge on Jack. And my mom loves this to death. She's been pestering me to read this for forever. Here is another author, Kepler, I think it's a pseudonym. They are very, how do you say that? Pseudonym. Yes. I'm not very good at yes, English, I'm this, sorry. You were right. Uh, and they are very good. I've read most of them, yet again, I don't remember which one. So Olivia um, recommended that I have Goodreads for my own memory. The problem is it's in English and then sometimes they have titles in Swedish. So yet again, I don't know which I read. Uh, another super mega exciting one is Roslund Hellström, this uh, couple of writers. They are the one, the, the nail biting sorts. But I like. <laughs> and of course, Henning Mankell. I like his thriller, not so much the, the other style, because oh, I'm a thriller person. We know. <sighs> and it's kind of obvious, but Stieg Larsson, if you haven't read Stieg Larsson, the trilogy. Mm -hmm. And then the sequel by David Lagerkrantz, but for me this is uh, super, super exciting. There are out, I think, all of them in movies, Swedish movies and English, but the books. The first one is called The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I don't know. The, but the, the name. Whatever. It is? What, you I don't, have I don't think it... But it's in Swedish. I know. Haha! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> See the problem? Yeah. <laughs> so, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is part of a series called Millennium. It is about Harriet, one of the daughters, I think, of the wealthiest families of Sweden, and she disappeared 40 years before the book takes place. And years later, her uncle tries to find her and hires a man, a journalist, to investigate, basically. I don't even know. I need to read it. I wish I hadn't read it, then I could read it. But since I have such a bad memory, like in two you years, could I could read it again and it would be exciting all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the books written by Ruslund Hellström is Box 21. That is scary. Good scary. <laughs> so, Box 21 is actually the second book in the series. I don't think my mom knows that even. But it's about Lydia and Elena, who are sex slaves that are lured to Sweden with the promise of better jobs 
and are trapped in a brothel. What the heck has my mom read? Basically, they take revenge on their enslavers and reclaim their lives. Okay, mom, what the heck? As you can see, it's clearly my mom's fault that I'm a excessive book hoarder nerd worm. Mm -hmm. All of the above. Worm? Bookworm. Ah. <laughs> we like books. Yes. If I read something and I don't love, love, love it, you eat the book. I give it away. So I photograph it, I you put it on the Yeah. Sometimes I buy them again. So, oh, come into like page 30. Oh, I've read this. Sounds familiar. Can you pose that we turn thumbnail? We turn thumbnail. Yeah, then man, it's my photo. Those are all the books we have, I have, me and my mom have to recommend to you. This, this was the weirdest thing ever, but that's who I know that reads thrillers. I don't really read thrillers. So those are the books my mom likes. Maybe you'll find them in English, probably not. But some of them are translated to English, so. But that is everything for today and I'll see you in my next weird video. Bye.